Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today is WrestleMania. And we're going to WrestleMania. And by we, I mean me and my boyfriend, but he's right here. Put your hand so they know I'm not alone. So we're going to WrestleMania and it's in Philadelphia. So we are about to drive the almost two hours, like one hour and 40 something minutes so this will be my vlog of my wrestlemania experience it is my first wrestlemania but it's not my first wwe show but it's my boyfriend's first ever wwe show and obviously his first wrestlemania so it's gonna be a really fun experience and it's a very nice day right now hopefully it stays like this all night but it's probably not most likely gonna be very cold because yesterday was wrestlemania night one and it was like it dropped down to like what 50 degrees but it felt like 48 so it's gonna be pretty chilly wrestlemania and i will be taking you guys along for the ride for the experience shall be checking in as we go yes are you recording? Yes. Okay. We are 39 minutes away. This is the checkpoint. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, we haven't stopped yet. Like we haven't made a circuit stop or anything. But there was a sign that said Philadelphia, so <laughs> I feel it. I'm feeling froggy. It's WrestleMania. Yeah. Already listen to. We are going to Target to see if I can find some film for my Polaroid camera. And then we're going to uh, go eat a uh, Philly cheesesteak, hopefully. Yeah. That tastes good. Yeah. One that tastes good. And we're about like 20 minutes away from the Lincoln Financial Field. Um, And what else? Oh, and supposedly... <laughs> where we're going like where the food place is is supposedly pretty close to the liberty bell and i really want to see it because the last time i went to philly i didn't see it so yo um unfortunately didn't have what i wanted so that's sad but I did in fact get two shirts that i technically didn't need but wanted Okay, now to eat Philly cheesesteaks and hopefully see the Liberty Bell. And yeah. Oh, and chime check. It's 3.46. We got here at like 3. Um, yeah, we got here at 3. Check into our Airbnb is at 4. So we're going to eat. <laughs> I rank my Philly cheesesteak a 8.9 out of 10. And I rank, we got bacon fries. I rank the bacon fries a 5 out of 10 just because they're a little salty. Like too salty in my opinion. What do you think, babe? If I had to give my ranking on the cheesesteak, I got bacon on it, so I kind of fucked it up overpowered. So I want to give it like a 7.5. Yeah. But the one that we went to was considered to be um the best philly cheesesteak in all of philly um as of gq magazine and it had four stars on yum yeah, i think i'm also a cheese whiz kind of person but i really like the, the, the mozzarella bacon, the bacon fries oh the bacon fries Cause, because just because of the cheese i don't like how it yeah yeah that's what i'm saying it was really salty kind of i don't mind the fries, the fries just the cheese. but that's what i mean the cheese was salty not the fries like the cheese was salty and it already had bacon, so it was like, you know, but yeah. Now we're walking to the Liberty Bell. Everybody here has merch. Everybody here is going to WrestleMania. Literally, the people next to us in the restaurant were talking about their predictions and who they think is going to win and stuff. And it's honestly really cool to see, like, a whole group, a whole fan base migrate to one location for something like it's really cool. The 
WrestleMania. Oh, the, the bell's ringing. Just in time for the bell to ring. Late, but what's new? Wait till I describe the fucking horror show we went through to get here. Like, bro, the Uber lady tire pops when we're like four minutes away. I'm not gonna lie y'all we pra we came right when the first match which was Seth versus Drew ended but luckily we got to see the cash in with Damien and you know CM Punk and all that other stuff it was a little annoying um hold on y'all let me write right this is my drink of choice give it like a 5 out of 10 to be honest
First time seeing Randy ever. I went to Super SmackDown uh, two years ago when they went to Madison Square Garden, and I got to see Edge, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio, Charlotte Flair. Um, but I just didn't see Randy because he was on Raw at the time. So this is gonna be my first time seeing Randy ever. And I am so excited and so scared. And I can't breathe and I'm scared I'm gonna cry. Also, look at the makeup. Literally the prettiest wrestling fan you've ever met. He's not gone. His ideas will live on forever. Catch me when I'm on, in the ring, y'all. Catch me when I'm in the ring. Watch, mark my words, y'all. In less than 10 years, I'll be there. Yes! 
smokies. You already hit two RKOs. Oh, he gave it to the ref. Yeah, Randy, yeah. Now the ref starts wailing. <laughs> match like a calm eight out of ten four stars
Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Days. Cried so much. Undertaker came out. John Cena came out. Fucking Jey Uso. It was amazing. But also, Cody finally finished his story, man. And I cried like a baby. I'm really a Cody cry baby because I cried so hard. I'm so happy for him. And this was amazing. Nine out of ten experience would have been ten out of ten if we came early. Or on time but that's on me that's on us mostly me though that's on me <laughs> like i'm saying like we couldn't hear burning down one more time hey guys we are back in the car we are back home <clears throat> my makeup is off wrestlemania is over we finished the press conference too and overall Today has been an amazing experience. My boyfriend, he got some video footage because my phone ran out of storage, which it doesn't say that now, but for a second it was saying that I had no more storage. So I took a lot of videos on my camera, which I'm probably, most likely, knowing me, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share those. But my boyfriend got some videos on his nice iPhone 15. Um, they're vertical though, but it's fine, you know. Um, it's gonna be great. Undertaker came out. John Cena came out. The Rock came out. Um, just amazing. I cried so much when Cody won, just because it was it was just a surreal moment to witness. And he gave his mom the belt, and it was just, you know, it's really, it was heartwarming. It really was so heartwarming to see. And I'm just so grateful. I can't believe that I got to live out a childhood slash lifelong dream. That I've always wanted to do. I was crying on the Uber in the Uber on the way home just because I'm so emotional. And it's really just a full circle moment. That's what I want to say. It was a full circle moment. So yeah. It's the whole spirit experience. I think I've already said it. It's a nine out of ten. It would have been a ten out of ten if we that's only nine. You told the tire box? Oh yes. Did that Uber lady count your goddamn days, ho? because not only was she going i'm not even you know what like the tire popping she couldn't control it fine whatever but how you pop a tire at 15 miles per hour bro like what a pothole yo the the speed limit around here is like 25 30. i kid you not she was going 10 15 miles per hour even on the highway like it was a 15 minute drive and she made that shit 20 minutes i'm not even joking it took so long. Thank God that we got a quick Uber after because I told him, listen, we're running very late. And he said, all right. <laughs> but yeah, great experience. I would definitely go to a wrestling show again. The section we were in, we were in section C23. So club level, um, row 13. And the one complaint I have about our section is that people kept on getting up in the middle of matches. I mean, including us, but there was like a couple of people in the front that like, they were the same people. Babe, we got up twice. You went to get something, I went to get something, then we got up to take the picture. Right. We only got three times. We only got up three times. Yeah. And honestly, when we got, when each of us individually got up, it was for a match, but we both ducked and stuff because we were very close to the aisle. So we didn't really bother anybody other than ourselves. And then when we got up to take a picture, it was like in the middle of like a little break. So everybody was moving, but like there were genuinely like the, like in front of us, 
the same like five or six people kept on getting up for like random stuff and like i don't know if they just had shit in their pants regardless yeah that's one thing i would say that was pretty annoying and i think that's something that's like a downside of being so far people don't take their seat serious and they get up a lot because if you were in the front you wouldn't really get up as much so i i would say that's like the downside but other than that great seats great view and yeah overall babe what do you rank your experience um i'm gonna give it a ton i liked it a lot yeah for our first thing that was awesome and we are truly in the triple h era and i'm so excited to see what's to come but yeah i'm gonna end the video here because there's that's it like my wrestlemania experience is done um if you guys want to see me talk more about wrestling or just you're interested in like wrestling stuff let me know because i love wrestling pleasure that not like not many people know i have especially if you just see me like i feel like people wouldn't expect me to like it but i love it i eat sleep breathe this shit so if you want to see more videos of that like this video and subscribe because this is going to be a long video to edit i already know okay bye